Hello everybody, so how are you all? Today's video is a goddamn vlog because this bitch has not done a vlog in so freaking long so I was like you know what I want to do a vlog today because vlogs are my thing and yeah so basically I am going to be following Leah Holton around all day which probably isn't going to be fun but other than that I have not done my hair I just did my makeup my hair is like is that a fluff? Off. Yeah, so I haven't done my hair, so it's a, it's it's like oh, it's still in my hair. Oh, oh. <sighs> got it. But I'm gonna go down to Leah's house now because she is expecting me. But anyway, so yeah, let's go down to Leah's house. Okay, everybody. So I am in Leah's bed, waiting for Leah. She is in the bathroom, blow drying her hair. Say hi. Oh, What's the first thing we're doing today? Going to the vet. Going to the vet. Nice. That's everything on the shiv cam at the moment. And I'll see y'all when Leah is prepared to show her face. So now I'm with Luch. Luchi. We went on our little road trip and got medication. Shiloh's medication because she needs some medicine. So now we're getting back in the whip. Today's weather is disgusting. So windy. Hey guys. Woo! Sandals. We're 40 minutes. Actually, no, we're probably like an hour out from our houses, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Which is pretty far. All right, so now we're going to go get some Nando's. Peace out. I'll see you when we're at Nando's. Goodbye. Okay, so we're currently walking. I just got my Lipton iced tea. And Leah's now getting her drink. What did you order? A tiger milk. It's so cute. You got it. Let's secure the bag. Show us. What it looks like. Oh, this is cool. Wow. It looks very flavorsome. There's a fing hair. There's a hair. That's a hair. <laughs> Yum. I'm gonna try a bit. Uh -uh. Oh, the cheese is so undercooked. If you ever got a food poisoning, uh -huh. from what? A big M. <laughs> a chocolate big M. Can you still eat big M? Yeah. Of course. Well, I, it was like my first time out clubbing and we went out for dinner before. It was like a buffet place. Mm. I got buffet carbonara. I was gonna go to school the next day because the next day was a Friday and I needed to go to the bathroom. And I get home. I, I'm t Wait, I'm to go toilet or to throw up? Toilet. <laughs> my mom let me stay home from school and I was in bed and she starts making me toast. And I can smell the toast from the kitchen and I couldn't hold it down. Like the scent of the toast, it fucking triggered me. And I ran to the bathroom. Uh, 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 on the toilet, my mum was holding my hair. I'm like, surely it was from like the alcohol, because I didn't know like what it could be from. Turns out one of the other girls that ate the carbonara was sick too. It was probably off cream. Uh, this is actually like feel the wrap, it's cold. Yeah, it is. Well, do you want to hear my story? Bad bitch me thought I was invincible. Nothing new there. So we had a bottle, like a big two liter bottle of chocolate Big M. And it was one day old. And there was so much left and I felt bad because obviously, you know, my parents had paid for this huge bottle of Big M and half of it was still left and it was like going to go off. So I go to my dad, I'm like, dad, do you reckon it's all right if I have the chocolate Big M? And he's like, how many days old is it? I'm like, one or two. And he's like, oh, probably not. And I was like, but I had it yesterday and I'm fine. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have it anyway i had it tasted great it smelled great and then the next day i threw up everywhere and it was literally coming out of me like a freaking broken pipe mm. <laughs> that's the only way i can describe it it was gushing out of me continuously to the point where only fluids were coming out and then i was like i gotta, I gotta go to the doctors I gotta go to the doctors and they all had to give me an injection to stop me from throwing up because i was losing too much fluids and i still drink big m till this day because I love food. Before eating food, I was talking about throwing up. This is when I was like in primary school, like I was living in my old, old, old house. And I woke up one day and my stomach was really sore. Like it was sore to the point where I couldn't stand up. Like I physically could not stand up. And my mom was like, what the hell? Like this would never happen. So, wait, how old were you? I don't know, in primary school. Maybe grade four, grade three. So she took me to the emergency room. Oh my God. Get to the emergency room. Is that lipstick on my face? Mm -hmm. Is that lipstick in my Valentino white bag? You have to insert the meme. Oh, you smell! 
<laughs> Lipstick and my Valentino white bag. <laughs> anyway, we're waiting at the emergency room to do the test. I'm feeling fine. What test did you take? I don't remember, but they take me out the back to weigh me, like behind. You know, in the emergency room, how there's the desk and there's all the nurses sitting behind the, the station? Yeah. They took me in there with my mom and they're weighing me. And I stand on the scales and I start to feel really fine weird it's like what the hell i stand off the scales really fast I'm like no They're like get back on what's wrong and you know how when you're about to vomit your mouth waters i'd never thrown up before so i didn't know what was going on i get back up on the scales there's something about those scales i don't know i couldn't take it i get off i projectile vomit all over the back of the nurse's room onto the nurses like <laughs> And yeah, then I was literally fine. I went into like the recovery room. I was fine. Went home. Well, the last time I oh. vomited was very gracefully. Oh. When was that? At the house. My good friend Leah here. I felt sick. So I went to go eat some food. My mouth starts watering. That strawberry ain't going down well. Oh, I remember that day. And I just suddenly threw up in a bathroom just once or maybe twice. And then I go upstairs and I go to Leah. I just threw up and she's like you're joking and I was like I'm not joking I just threw up and then the person she was with was like are you alright and I'm like I don't know because they're like, so thoughtful no Leah was like to the person she's joking <laughs> she's joking and I'm like I'm not fucking joking I literally just threw up and she's like wait are you serious <laughs> and I was like yeah I just threw up and she's like wait no shit wait are you serious <laughs> I was thoughtful. I didn't wipe fact, my nose. <laughs> I didn't believe you because you're a wolf that you're the boy that cries wolf. So why would I believe you? I've never told you I've vomited before. Yeah, so that's my little story. Honestly, I don't really have much to talk about other than the fact that I hate this time of year. My birthday is coming up. Guys, I'm gonna be 19. Do I want to be 19? No. I don't want to be 19 because I have always been the young one. But now I'm turning 19. So everyone's like, oh, she's only 19. Who cares? Responsibility. Chuck it at her. But no. You're so weird. I don't want to be 19. You know, you know what's weird? You act like the old mature one. You're an old soul, but you complain about being old. Like, but I want to be old because I want to have kids. But I don't want to be old. So my birthday is actually the 23rd of April. Guys, put that down in your calendars. 23rd, 23rd. Put a notification on for freaking like 6 p.m., 6 a.m. Because that's when I was born. You are born at 6 a.m. Something like that. I was born at 9.15 p.m. All right, so put your notifications on. I expect over a million happy birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. I don't care. I'll send you 900,099. Nine, nine. 999,999. Yeah. Put your hands up if you think I should invite the whole of Melbourne to my birthday. Put your hands up if you were too last minute on finding a venue so you can't do that. <laughs> Where did I put my hand up? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Anyway, so I'm stressing out it actually. I'm not even stressing. I'm just whining about my birthday because I'm a last minute bad bitch. And second of all, Siobhan, my head looks extended because of the way the camera is. Tilt it. You, I'm fucking driving. I'm driving. Happy? Yes, I am happy. See, now that's that's fair. Yeah, so, I don't know. That's, that's, that's what's in. Whoa! Complain, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so that's what's on the agenda, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, look at you. you look like a freaking mushroom. You look like a glowy mushroom. <laughs> Actually, you know those, those bulbous ones? The real nice round <gasps> white ones?
say bye to the camera. I can't reach it. Bye. See you when we're home. I'm gonna close it off. to go to the gym. It is now 7.48 and we're gonna go rock and roll, hey? <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, we're now at the gym. How are you feeling? <laughs> My favourite part of the day. I'm on the treadmill. So, we're gonna be on the treadmill for another five minutes and then we'll go on the bike. I'll do like a quick little mix and match of the gym sesh. I'm puffed out. Leah's just not having it. But yeah, so let's get fit, bitches. So I'm finally home at like 10.30 p.m. Today was probably the longest day I have ever experienced in my life. I went from A to B to B to C to D to E. Literally, I traveled the whole of Melbourne today with Leah. So if you need a travel buddy, hit me up because I'm the one to call since I just keep my mouth shut and just go wherever everyone wants to go. But anyway, I think the gym topped it off. I am beyond dead. And here's my little heater because it is freaking freezing in Melbourne right now. But yeah, that was my day. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. That's pretty much everything, but make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Siobhan underscore Award and follow Leah at Leah Holton underscore. Oh, and before, before I log out, I just want to let you guys know I'm doing a little bit of a giveaway soon, so stay tuned. Since me and Lee are besties, I thought I'd give back to two besties as well. So stay tuned to Instagram to see when the giveaway will be starting. But yeah, that's everything. So make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see y'all in my next video.